So the first time the War Memorial um, contacted me about potentially doing this residency, Alex Torrance from the art section emailed me and basically said we'd be interested in, in having a chat about this um, new program that the Australia Council is funding and we'd like you to come in for, for a chat and yeah, it was really exciting. I've always been interested in taking things that have a sort of ready-made cultural or political um, provenance or weights and then using that as, as part of the, as the material in, in the work. The first day I arrived it was pretty um, overwhelming I guess, I didn't really know what to expect. I was very nervous probably, but yeah everyone was really sort of um, welcoming straight away and I had um, a lot of training lined up to kind of get into the system here and, and work out how to use the the archives and the databases and, and kind of realise the enormity of the, the collection and, and the vast sort of um, scope of the archives, it was extremely daunting. You know, trying to pick out one little thing out of all these possibilities, it's hard because in every, every choice, you know, you choose one thing, you eliminate every other thing that you could do. And there are literally thousands of, of potentials. I guess I'm really interested in the way that the, the military shapes minds and bodies and the way it conditions bodies to become um, disciplined and functional within the kind of machine of, of the military. And I came across a, um, the Chief of Army's reading list, which is a, a prescribed sort of list of texts for officers, um, sort of theory, strategy, politics, that kind of thing. And I was really interested in this as a kind of pre-curated uh, list of, of texts that would represent an ideal military mind um, and, and an actual volume of mind in the physical kind of quantity of, of these books. So I've sort of thought of this list of books as almost like a cognitive armour that someone equipped with this knowledge of all these books would um, be this kind of superior human, I guess, in a way, for, for the military. I guess as a media artist, the media component of this project, I'm, I'm scanning well, one helmet in particular. It should kind of happen by accident, but it's Ben Robert Smith's helmet, who's a VC from Afghanistan, an SAS soldier that was awarded a Victoria Cross. So I'll be doing a 3D scan of, of his helmet and from that creating sort of carbon copies but out of the material of these books. This knowledge would, would kind of form an, an armour and um, using the, the books to kind of, the, the transformation of these books into a, into a helmet. And I guess because of the, the way that the War Memorial collects objects, they don't just collect any object often, they have to be kind of linked to a specific event or person or story. And there's always a kind of personal element to it. And obviously this, this soldier is, is an ideal kind of soldier. He's, you know, the pinnacle of, of what the army produces. So his helmet is obviously extremely symbolic and it's, it's kind of very lucky that I've had the chance to, to use it in, in, this, in, this, in this artwork. Les autres de dénoncer le laxisme de l'État à tolérer que des groupes de rap comme Nick ta mère diffusent des paroles telles que la jeunesse se doit d'être à l'heure au rendez-vous fixé pour pisser sur la flamme tricolore le putain d'étendard du parti des ports. Qui a raison? I've been toying with different ideas about um, how I'm going to destroy the books. Um, obviously there's a very sort of loaded history of destroying books as well, but in this context I think it's, um, it's not so much destruction as sort of transformation. So it's the books are becoming uh, their true um, essence, I guess, that this work would almost release that idea into, another, into its true form. This work won't be finished probably until next year. Um, it's quite a large work and it's sort of 
definitely bigger than anything I've ever done before. So in that sense, there is a kind of element of pride, I guess, attached to it, but I, I wouldn't want to preempt it because it might not work yet. <laughs> I guess I focus on, on military themes and military systems in my work because as a media artist I, I guess I've been looking into the history of, of technology and, and, and I've sort of, it's well documented that it's most, most technologies come from the military and the possibilities that you, that you have from looking at these kinds of ideas through through art are, are much bigger than just any kind of traditional way I think. If people can walk away with a few ideas in their head or you know some questions um, that's, I guess, the best thing. I never kind of want to impose any, anything on, on any viewer, but if you can open up um, a conversation or a dialogue or, or some, some, some questions, then that's the best thing you can hope for.